Hey Lee Tribe, today I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily create a seamless pattern with evenly spaced shapes using Photoshop. Now that more and more print-on-demand services are allowing us to sell masks, this is a great time to learn how to create patterns. I've started selling some masks, but I've only sold single image masks so far. However, that could be because I create single images far more than I create patterns. My image to pattern ratio is like nine to one at this point. Nevertheless, based on what the PODs advertise, you can tell, and just based on what I see when I go to the grocery store, customers prefer patterns. Plus, they work well with other products like phone cases, all over shirt prints, and more. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna be using Photoshop CC 2020, but this works with some of the previous versions as well. Start off by going to File, New, and make sure your values match the ones you see on the screen and press OK. Next, choose the Ellipse tool. Hold down Shift and drag to draw a circle. Click the V key or the Move tool to move the circle in the center. Now, right click the layer and choose Duplicate Layer to make a copy. To size down the circle, press Command or Control T and size down the top circle by holding down Option or Alt and drag the corner to make it smaller. Click the Ellipse tool again and then the Fill swatch to select your color for this top circle. Hold down Shift and select both layers. Now right click and choose Merge Visible which unfortunately is off the screen. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna combine both layers into one. Next, right-click and duplicate layer again. Now go up to Filter, Other, Offset. The value you select right here should be half of the width and height of your canvas. Our canvas is 1,000 by 1,000 pixels, so we will use 500 for both the vertical and horizontal values. Click OK. The final step is to select Edit, Define, Pattern. Give it a name and then click OK. Now your pattern is ready to use. To create a pattern file for print on demand, open a brand new template. I'm using 6,500 by 7,000, which is more than big enough for all Redbubble products. First, we're gonna give our pattern a yellow background. You don't have to give it a background, but we're just gonna do this for the sake of illustration. So click the foreground color icon, choose your color, tap the paint bucket, and click inside your canvas to paint it. Now, Right click your layer and choose Blending Options. Select Pattern and choose the newly created pattern. Now you can adjust the scale slider to get the size that you desire. Click OK. Now all you have to do is export your file as a PNG and you're ready to upload to print on demand. Don't forget to go in and enable new products on your older designs when you can. Trust me, as someone who hardly sold anything on many of my accounts the first few months, hard work and consistency pays off. You might think that all you're gonna sell is stickers, but the more consistent you are, provided you are paying attention to what Redbubble highlights and what sells there, you will be rewarded over time for your hard work. You guys, hang in there. This is truly a rewarding experience. If you enjoy it, and you have a little or a lot of bit of patience. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.